Okay, happy Thursday and welcome back to the vlog. I think this video may be like a weekend in my life with a baby, I'm not sure. But I wanted to film something along those lines and I think I might just start on it right now. So it's Thursday today and our plans for today are that we have to go get Yusuf's passport picture taken. I'm really excited because it's his first passport picture and it's like one of the first things that we get to do with him. We also have to take his three month picture so I have to remember to do that. Um, and then I wanted to go to Buclair Home as well as I think HomeSense, one of the, uh, one of the two because we needed decor for the front of our entryway and we needed to figure out how to de decorate that and so that's on the list as well but what we're gonna do now is go get Yusuf ready for his passport picture and then see um, what the day holds Okay, happy Saturday. I'm just getting started on my day. It's a little late morning for me. It's currently 11.30. I just put Yusuf down for his first nap. We had a late morning because Faison had gone to work. So me and Yusuf were kind of just chilling in bed and like hanging out. Um, and it, we made it down much later than we usually do. But I'm finally getting started on my day. Um, I didn't really get a chance to vlog anything yesterday because to be honest, we weren't really doing anything. We were at home. It was kind of a blah day. Yusuf had a really bad night the night before. And so we were both just like really groggy. And we just wanted to chill and do absolutely nothing which is exactly what we did so friday was like kind of just a dead tired day for us today is different though we actually have to head out to Faison's parents house so that'll be fun um and i have a couple of things around the house that i wanted to get done so i will put that on the list as well we got his passport picture taken as i'm sure you guys saw i'll show you the picture it is so funny i like keep looking at it and i keep dying because he's just he's so serious in it um but he did a really good job like he didn't cry or anything and we were able to get his photo um let me actually grab it and show you guys okay here's the picture and i'm dying he looks he looks so funny he also has drool on his shirt we tried so hard for him to not drool i kept like wiping it off and everything but it just wasn't enough um anyways yeah if it was up to me i would like edit this drool out but i mean they can't do that we just went to shoppers to get it done i'm just dying i can't i can't stop looking at it it's so funny it looks like a mug shot. Like, it looks like his mug shot. He's just so serious in it. Um, but yeah, that was the highlight of Thursday. We both had so much fun. Like, again, it's such a mundane thing to do, but because it was his first passport picture, it just, like, made it a lot more fun. After we got the picture taken, we actually also went to Beauclair Home and, I believe, um, Home Sense maybe? I know we went to Beauclair Home for sure because we wanted a rug for the entryway. We bought one, but it's just like, it's not it. I'll show you guys. We actually got this jute rug and I love the color of it. I thought it would look so great. But the problem that we're countering is our entryway has this tile and doesn't have wood. And so the jute rug like does not go with this color whatsoever. We also got a mat for the front place from Beauclair. And I really like it. It's like very simple um, and it's like really minimal and it says a cute hello and I'm just like really loving it. Moji always tries to escape when I open the door. But yeah, I need to find a mat for this place. I did place an order on Ikea. Um, I've actually placed two orders. One of them came in and I'll show you guys what I got. But um, I placed another order for like a runner that I could find. This place, this like entryway is a really weird um, shape. And so a rug that would fit perfectly is a 5x5 five five square rug. But those are really hard to come by. Like I've realized they don't make 5x5 five five square rugs for some reason. And so I settled down on a 2x4 um, small mat rug. And um, I, I'm hoping it'll look good. I think it'll be like really small, but it's okay. We also got this mirror to hang right over here. I'll insert a picture of what the mirror is. It's the Linbin mirror from Ikea and I'm like, I love it. It's such a good price mirror um, and it's like really stylish. So I'm really excited for it to go up there. Um, I'm planning on putting like a step stool or like, sorry, not a step stool, like an ottoman over here. Um, so we still have to do that. Something else I got from Ikea is this mirror for Yusuf's room. Um, again, I'll insert a picture of what the mirror is actually supposed to look like. Uh, this is just going to go on top of his dresser. I got three of these spice racks, which I'm not actually going to use for spices. I'm going to use as a bookshelf for Yusuf's room. I found that these were also very inexpensive. They were, I think, $8.99 for one shelf. 
not shelf for one rack um, and I just thought the price was really good last two things I purchased from Ikea is this big um, jar which I thought was gonna be much smaller I'm it actually came in and I was like really surprised with how big it is I wanted to use it as a utensil holder for my counter um, because I just have a plain white one and I wanted to change it out but this is way too big like this is really really big I was thinking about returning it but honestly it's like $15 and it's just not worth the trip to go back um, to return it so Fizan said that I think the best idea would be to use it as a planter for Yusuf's room we wanted to put a plant in there so we might use it as that um, or it just might be like another extra plant pot that we have in the house and we can fill it up it is really beautiful though like I wish I got the smaller size Muji <laughs> Okay, Muji just dropped my camera. I'm hoping like the focus is okay. But this kind of gives me an excuse to go to the nursery to pick up a plant, which is like my favorite thing to do. Um, so we'll definitely do that before it gets colder outside. And I'm thinking of putting a plant in that's very low maintenance um, because I don't know, I just feel like the higher maintenance plants right now, the only ones I have are um, my rubber one upstairs. It's not growing as much well as I wanted it to after we repotted it. And then we have my fiddle leaf, which is literally my baby, and it's sprouting new leaves, which makes me very happy. But I think a very low maintenance plant will go in this. And then the last thing I got is actually this jar, which again, I thought would be bigger. Um, it isn't. <laughs> I wanted a big clear glass jar to put on top of our table with just like a little um, stem or branch in it and um, I don't know this is like not big enough in comparison to our table I saw one on Crate and Barrel that was like really beautiful and I thought I could find one on Ikea but it's just like not the Crate and Barrel one again the Crate and Barrel one is like 50 bucks this was maybe like 7 so I'll stick with this one this is really cute though and so what I might do with this is um, use it for like flowers I'm not gonna throw it away because I did need a vase for flowers and whatnot um, so I'm gonna definitely keep this. It's a really cute size, um, but I just like gotta figure out what I need to do with the table. We also have our chairs coming in from Pottery Barn, hopefully soon, and me and Faison are so excited for those chairs. We basically purchased our initial table for such a low price at Pier 1, and I think the chairs that we have were like $27 each, so we weren't ever worried about them like getting scuffed or anything. Um, and then when we went to Turks and Caicos for our baby moon, I think Mina and Muji like really missed us and they just like completely tore our chairs apart and we didn't care because we were like, oh, it's okay. They're like $27. We're, we're gonna change them anyways. And now it's to the point where like it's taken us so long to find chairs and the chairs that we purchased are taking so long to come in that we're just like really excited for them to be finally switched. They have absolutely just like wrecked all of them. We literally apologize to people when they come over because of how awful these are. Yusuf is up from his nap, so I'm gonna go get him. Um, and yeah, we'll continue this later. All right, look who's up from their nap. Are you up from your nap? Are you up from your nap? Yeah. Are you all fresh? Even though you only took a 30 minute nap? Only 30 minutes? Didn't you wanna sleep longer? Hmm? Um, we recently switched him out from swaddling his arms to having his arms out while napping. We do it in his crib, not in his bassinet yet because he's too big for his bassinet with his arms out. And like when he has his arms out in the bassinet, he like hits the sides and it's just like it wakes him up. But in the crib, he's been doing a really good job. Initially, when we tried it, it took him a while to learn that like his arms are out. Are you talking? Are you talking? Um, it took him a while to like, I not learn, but like I think control the fact that his arms were out But now he's like absolutely loving it. He doesn't like startle himself anymore, which is really nice He just turned three months and they say that they start rolling over around the three and a half four month mark And that's when swaddling is no longer safe because if they roll over while they're, they're swaddled They can't roll themselves back and I didn't want to take the chance of like him rolling over a little too early and then having to go through not having him swaddled anymore and the entire thing because it is really hard I think to adjust he's thankfully and luckily adjusted really well um, but I've read online that like some parents have a really tough time with putting their babies to sleep because they're so used to being so cozy and snug um, but he's doing a really good job with it but yeah we are warming up his bottle he's gonna eat and then he's just gonna play and chill I'm gonna hope I can edit on the couch while he's here um, he seems like he's in a good mood, so I feel like he won't need me as much But if he does, I'll just wear him and walk around and do stuff around the house Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? Is your tummy hungry? Is your tummy a hungry tummy? Oh god, you're so drooly Hi. 
Are you up? Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah? Oh my goodness, look at you. Okay, let's go. Let's go down. Okay, hello. Happy Sunday to the vlog. Um, Yusuf and me just, well, Yusuf and I just woke up and we're chilling together for the morning. He currently loves his carrier. It's not, it's the Ergo Baby carrier. I just have this on because he loves to spit up on it. And I can wash this a lot easier than I can wash the carrier. So we just put this for his little drool. Love you, Anna. Say hi. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Just before I turned on the camera, he was like talking to himself. He's doing that a lot now. He just starts like yelling and screaming. And he's like giving us little tidbits of chuckles, but not a full laugh yet. So me and Faison are really excited for his first laugh. We like keep thinking he's gonna give it to us soon. And then he doesn't, right? You don't give you a laugh. You don't give us a laugh. He insists on being carried like pretty much everywhere. And he hates being carried facing the chest. So I didn't use a carrier for a while. Um, and then he was strong enough to like, I guess, hold his neck up by himself. And then he also like met the weight requirement for him carrying, like him being carried front facing. And so as soon as we introduced this, he was like so fascinated. He's like in love with it. Anyways, we just woke up and we are going to make our morning coffee. Well, I am. And um, Yusuf has already ate. And then we're just going to chill on the couch for a bit and then get on with our day. Recently for my coffee, I've been loving putting in this vanilla latte mix. It's It can be served hot and cold. I recently just started putting it in my hot coffees um, and I really, really like it. It's really yummy. And then I always put in the caramel macchiato coffee enhancer. It just makes it taste so much better. Um, I have a bunch of other enhancers too. I have all of them. My favorite one is the caramel macchiato one. Least favorite is the cinnamon one because it's way too strong and the pumpkin spice one is pretty good as well. Um, they sell this iced espresso in the caramel macchiato one as well and I really want to try that one out um, and I also have the blonde roast which I use for my iced coffees but yeah basically loving coffees at the moment um, they just taste really good and I really look forward to making them in the morning it's just like a nice morning routine for me Mina is here too oh my god the vlog has not seen Mina in such a long time here's Amina hi Mimi hello she is like never around she's always sleeping somewhere all right, morning coffee is made. Um, it's in Faison's cup, not mine cup. But, okay, I am going to put him down because I am so paranoid about drinking hot things while he's on me like this. I usually, like, pull my head to the side and drink it just because I'm so scared I might, like, drop something on him. But we're going to officially start our morning routine, put him down on the playmat. Yeah! Are you excited? He loves his playmat. So we're going to go put him on his playmat and then get it started. Okay, he's on his playmat and I am just sitting down. Ready to chill out a bit. Um, he's pretty good in the mornings. He actually like doesn't give us a fuss or anything. He loves his playmat in the mornings. Like he knows that's his morning routine, oddly enough. Um, and he just like sits and talks to himself. And it's it's really nice. I have such bad dark circles, and I just keep noticing it. I've never had dark circles in my life before, and just after becoming a mom, the lack of sleep that you get really just like enhanced my dark circles but it's okay i guess it's just part of the job i'm gonna i usually have cookies oh i like touched myself weird it's red now oh i like I scratched myself really weirdly um i am going to have a cashew bar i usually have cookies with my coffee there are these amazing costco cookies that i love so much um but i ran out of them and i have to go and grab some more they're like the best but um i guess i'll just have a cashew bar instead it's the chocolate um, big cereal bar. It's really good. And um, I'm going to drink my coffee. Um, watch. Are you talking to yourself? Watch a little bit of TV and then get ready for the day. Yusuf was yelling like a crazy man on his play mat. I think he got angry, so he has now joined me here. Right? Are you on your bouncer? <laughs> Okay, hello, happy Monday. Um, we've had such a random day so far. I wasn't planning on vlogging today because I wanted to edit this one, but I realized I didn't get a chance to show you guys the Love Every kit that we got in. Um, and I didn't, re and I realized I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys about the weekend that we had, so I thought I might as well do a little sit-down portion before I end the vlog. Um, we've had such an awful, not awful day, but we've had such a unplanned day basically i meant i remember mentioning before that we had ordered chairs from pottery barn and i am never ordering online from pottery barn again it just it told us that our chairs would be shipped by september 13th and i called them today and then they said that there was a delay and that we would be getting our chairs in 
by the end of September, beginning of October. And every time we call them, it's just like nobody can give us the right answer. And for some reason, they can't provide us with a tracking number. They can just let us know that there, our chairs are on a truck. Um, but they can't give us a tracking number, which is so weird to me because we've ordered things from so many places before. And um, I've literally gotten things from Denmark before. And it's still it like, you know, I get tracking numbers for it. Is he okay? Yeah. Sorry, Yusuf started crying and I had to put him to sleep. Um, I think I like randomly cut off the clip, but, the clip, but I think I was talking about how awful Pottery Barn is and how much we hate it. Not like the like company or anything, but just like ordering online is such a pain. Like we still don't have our chairs and we like we just had to go to Yorkdale to pick up chairs that were floor models because the chairs we had ordered are not coming in until like like I said I think October end of September so it's just like a whole thing and then Fizan just had to do that this morning the weekend however was really fun we got to hang out with families which was really nice it was so funny Yusuf got to see um, Benji and Piku Fizan's family's dogs um, he got to see them playing together and it was really funny because he hasn't seen like dogs play together he has Mina and Muji at home but Mina and Muji don't do anything and they like kind of go smell him and that's it they don't ever like really do anything so he got to see Benji and Piku actually playing together and like he was watching them so intently he was just looking at them and then um, yeah it was just like really funny I was I was really happy seeing him see dogs play um, because he gets to see he's like surrounded by animals which is something we really like and then we went to my parents house on Sunday and um, he was giving us so many laughs I'll actually insert a clip right now <laughs> Yeah, he was giving us so many laughs and it was so cute he's giving us these like small chuckles but he's not giving us a proper hearty laugh yet and they do say that around three to four months your baby will give you like a laugh so look out for it so i think it's on the way because he is giving us like a good chuckle but there's no like a he's not giving us a laugh laugh and so i'm really excited for that we also watched thor love and thunder last night and it was great i loved the movie it was so funny um i know there's people who did not like the movie um and it definitely was not like the best Marvel movie but I did like it like it was okay um, not okay it was actually pretty good um, and we had a lot of fun watching it but I'm gonna show you guys the love every package and then I will wrap up the vlog so it comes in a box like this um, it says designed by experts for your baby's developing brain and what I love about love every is um, it kind of takes the hassle of buying toys for your little one basically their their um website is kind of like a subscription based website we didn't sign up for the subscription because we wanted to see how the first one was but i feel like we're gonna now get them so on and so forth because it's really great um so basically they have um toys for your babies they have age appropriate toys for your baby and at this month yusuf is months three to four and so they put in toys that will i guess help use of developmentally in this age bracket um, and it's just really cool so let me show you guys this thing is kind of bent because Mina and Muji have been like playing with it um, but it has an entire timeline of when to introduce the toys that are given in the box so I'm just going to show you guys what's in the box based on the timeline that they've given me um, so the first thing that I received was a mirror card I'm going to take it out um, it's this mirror card right over here this one actually just goes on top of his uh, play mat which is really nice because he can lay down and look at himself up and he's been really loving that next they gave a crinkle book and this crinkle book I really like so Yusuf's been really into crinkle books lately he loves anything crinkle even in the car we have a couple of crinkle books for him so that when he gets bothered in his car seat I just start reading to him and he really likes it it distracts him a lot but they've included this crinkle book which is honestly my favorite and what I love about it is that we can place it underneath um, like on the floor and I'll have Yusuf do tummy time and he he'll have something to look at that's interesting to him rather than just like looking at the floor or like looking at like things that are not interesting we'll put this underneath and he'll be more interested to push up and look at it um, which has been really really nice then it says the next thing that's on the list is actually one of Yusuf's favorite things out of this um, package it's this crinkle bag so it's just like again it's like he's been obsessed with crinkle lately I'm gonna try not to like touch it too much because I don't want the audio to get wrecked but he has been obsessed with crinkle lately and um, it's just a bag and <laughs> it just crinkles that's it 
And what we do is we will put this on his hand like this or we'll put it on his feet and it will make him be so occupied for so long. Again, this is something he tries to put in his mouth constantly. Um, but yeah, he just loves crinkle things at the moment and this is his favorite toy at the moment. After the crinkle bag are two things that he does use quite often. So we have teethers. He loves teethers at the moment. I don't know if he's going to be um, teething soon, but he, he is very drooly and um, he's really gravitating towards these. After the teethers, we have this wooden rattle and I love it so much. It is so cute. It is so pretty and it's so like, it's so strong. Like it's a very nice dirty rattle um, and I was really looking forward to this. He hasn't used this quite yet and I'm kind of afraid to give it to him because he's had moments where he's taken things really hard and like banged himself against the head and this is wood um, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of hold off on this until maybe he's like 3.8 like more near the four month mark. We'll see how this works but this is the wooden rattle that came in. After the wooden rattle we have a favorite of mine. We have the framed mirror. So I think this concept is so cool. Um, on the other side it has contrast images but I put this against his play gym and he loves looking at himself. I love the contrast images because it, he looks at them quite often and then I also really love the mirror. After the mirror, we have these two um, toys right over here. This again is so cool. I think this toy is so cool. So this is a rolling bell. And I think this is more when they have a stronger grasp of um, hand coordination. Because right now Yusuf really doesn't. And I think he will by the four month mark. I think he'll be better at it. But yeah, it's basically a rattle. Um, it rolls on the floor and it makes um, noise because of the bell. And then there's a hand-to-hand -hand, hand disc. And again, I think this is supposed to help them with pincer grasp and it's supposed to help them grab onto things and strengthen their fine motor skills at this age. So they've included a play guide with the box that you get. Um, and it tells you ways to play, it tells you the tips, and it tells you the developmental information that you should be looking out for. Um, it says that your baby likes to explore with their mouth, they like to see you smile, um, they like to hear their own voice, and they will learn how to wave and watch their hands. And Yusuf's actually been doing that, it's really funny. He starts going like this, and we, we make fun of it, because he's always, he always has, has his hands like this, and we always say like, oh, he's like scheming, or like making a plan or something, because he's constantly sitting and just like going like this. He'll just like move his arms, and it's really funny. <laughs> All right, I brought you guys back up here because I think the lighting down there was getting weird. It's a very gloomy day outside. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I think I'm going to go back to Indigo and get him more crinkle books because I want him to build a habit of reading. I know it's so young for him, but I think as parents, as you get into the habit, it's easier for your child to get into the habit. So um, when we're in the car, initially, if he would get fussy, I would put on that like, hey, sensory... Um, video on YouTube for him to calm down but I just didn't want him to get too addicted to the phone at a young age and I didn't want us to rely on it because it's so easy to start relying on these things and so when we found out that he likes the crinkle books I now have a little bin in the car for him that has like a ball that has his two books and um, I'll read it to him and he'll be fine he'll like settle down in the car because he has something to look at but like I was saying I want to get new books because I'm getting so tired of reading those two books over and over again I have both of them memorized. I think Faison even has them memorized because I just keep reading it over and over and I've tried to like make up my own story in it but there's only so much I can do. And I think he's getting tired of the visuals as well because it's just the same two books over and over again. So we definitely have to take a trip to Indigo to do that. Um, but yeah, this is in no way sponsored by Love Every. Um, it's just, I'm just really excited for the products. And as a monastery teacher myself, I'm just really happy that I'm able to provide Yusuf with like toys that are developmentally appropriate to him and at the same time provide him with like a learning opportunity even though I know he's young but I just like want to make sure he's getting all that he can um, and I'm really happy that this lets me do that but I think I'm gonna end the vlog over here Yusuf is currently sleeping and I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit more done before he wakes up I think I have like maybe 15 more minutes before he wakes up um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching I'll try to do more of these because I think they're really interesting um, I'll try to I'll try to do like a day in my life with a baby and things like that because that's just my life now and um, I know I did fashion on YouTube before, but it's really hard to film a like large fashion video, um, especially with Yusuf now. I have a hard time doing that rather than doing this. I find this to be much easier. I can find time for it. And I think like my fashion videos are more geared towards TikTok and Instagram just based on how things are working out now. Um, so if you like me for the fashion content, I would definitely ask you to go to those um, social media platforms. And if you like me for the lifestyle content, stay here because that's where you will mostly like find it. But yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!